This is me on a real iPhone about to connect to real satellites in a real emergency relay center using Apple's new emergency SOS via satellite feature that's just rolling out today. They announced this feature a few months back at their keynote, uh, and now it's starting to roll out today in Canada and the US, as well as some other countries slated for next month that I'll get to in just a second. Now, a quick note that while this is all real and everything's gonna happen over satellite, this is something that has been coordinated with Apple so that no emergency responders like search and rescue helicopters show up at my exact location here. Now, the whole point of emergency SOS via satellite is for areas that simply don't have cellular coverage, whether that be deep backcountry or just like this little pocket somewhere on your commute that you no longer have coverage, this allows you to go ahead and send emergency messages to emergency responders via satellite. And this uses a constellation of 24 low Earth orbit satellites that Apple has partnered with Global Star 4. Uh, it'll basically send those messages via that as opposed to your normal cell tower. Now, in order for this to work, you need an iPhone 14 series device of any sort, or if you're watching this video in the future, probably an iPhone 15, 16, etc. And the reason for that is that it has specialized hardware in the antenna to be able to connect to those satellites. You also need to be in the right country, and that's gonna change over time. Today, it's launching in the US and Canada, and that is inclusive of Hawaii as well as Puerto Rico and the US Virgin Islands, but does exclude American Samoa and Guam. Uh, and it also goes up to about 62 degrees in latitude. So it does work beyond that, but not as reliably. And then starting sometime in December, they will enable the UK, Germany, France, as well as Ireland. And most importantly about that, it's about where you're standing at that moment in time, not about where your phone is bought. If you bought your phone in the Netherlands, as I did, and I fly to the US, as I am, in that case, my phone will work in the US, which is pretty cool. Uh, the only catch there is that phones that were bought in China, Hong Kong, and Macau do not work because China. But on the bright side, the cool part is this is all free, at least for the next two years. So let's just get straight into it. So to begin, we're gonna dial 911. And a notable thing here is that when you dial 911 on a phone, it goes beyond your carrier. So even if your carrier shows that it has no signal in that area, 911 will check all the cell towers from all carriers in that area. So it's doing that first right here before it goes and connects the satellite. Once it determines that there are no cellular signals available from any carrier in your area, then you're gonna see the option right there to go ahead and connect via satellite. Uh, once you do that, it's gonna give you a very quick one pager kind of explaining what's about to happen. And then from there, you're gonna choose what the emergency type is. This is an entire workflow that Apple says they've worked with emergency responders so that they get the most important information. And all this information is retranslated into this super low bandwidth text message. Keep in mind, there is no ability right now to send out a normal text message here, nor is the ability to use an app like Instagram or WhatsApp or anything like that, you have to go through this 911 workflow. Now, after that, you're gonna choose who the injury is for. In this case, I selected for myself. Uh, and then I'm gonna choose that I was breathing normally. And then it says, what type of emergency is this? And in my case, I selected traumatic injury. So this next part is pretty cool. It's gonna go ahead and automatically notify your emergency contacts and keep them in the loop on things like I'll show in just a second. Now, you do have to set this up ahead of time. And I, I'm assuming you have set up on your phone, your emergency contacts, right? It takes like two seconds to put the instructions on the screen right there. Uh, and you can see the name that it's gonna notify. And I even have that person's phone right here. I'm gonna show you how this works all in real time. After we confirm that, it's gonna start connecting to satellite. Now, you don't need to like stick your phone in the air trying to like, you know, the whole thing. You just don't do that. Just simply hold it like this. And it's gonna show you which direction the satellite is. There are 24 satellites in this constellation, but the one closest to you is the one it wants you to connect to. It'll tell you which direction to move. And if there's no satellites currently available in your area, it'll tell you how many minutes until the next one passes. Apple says that in the majority of cases, it should be available immediately, uh, if not just a couple minutes. And now just a quick note, if you are finding this video interesting or useful, now is a great time to hit that like button at the bottom there. It really does help with this video and the channel quite a bit. Now, once it's established that connection to the satellite, it'll begin to send the message. You'll see the status bar at the very top there, indicating each time of sending the message and how long that takes. In all the testing I did, it basically usually took about 15 to 25 seconds, give or take, in light tree cover. You can see right now the exact tree cover that I had there, but I actually put it down below a log a little bit later on. We'll talk about that in a second as well. So the very first message from you to the emergency relay center uh, basically has your ID information, your contact information. It has your location, so your exact GPS coordinates. It also includes your altitude, so the barometric altimeter in the phone. It also sends any of the medical ID information that you've put in your medical ID uh, section of your phone there off to emergency responders as well. So what's happening at that point is that message is being sent up directly from your phone to satellites and then from there down to a ground earth station. 
At that point, it's being relayed to either the closest emergency response center, so basically the closest 911 operator, or it goes to one of Apple's emergency relay centers. Those are for areas that essentially don't accept 911 text messages, or the definition of who responds to that area is a bit fuzzier. Apple has some 300 employees in these call centers that handle these calls. So you'll see a message back pretty much immediately as soon as they've received that message, asking more information about the situation. At this point, I type out that I've fallen down a ravine and I'm next to a log. Uh, now, each time I send a message, I have to validate that I still have satellite coverage. And in fact, that happened midway through this conversation where the satellite that was overhead me was no longer there. And I had to turn to a different location to go ahead and get that connection or maintain that connection. So at this point, you're probably wondering, well, what happens if I can't turn? What if I'm injured down in that ravine and the best I can do is just simply hold my phone like this? And the answer is it will work. Apple says that orienting towards the satellites improves the connectivity, and it does in my testing, uh, but it still works without that. So what I did for fun is I took the phone and I started this conversation and I put it down below the edge of a log. So it was totally blocked on one half of the sky, other half of the sky was kind of in the trees a bit, uh, and it even started off showing in the red, and then as a new satellite came by, it transited to orange. And yes, that message took about two to three minutes to go ahead and send, but it did send automatically. In fact, what's really fascinating about this is that behind the scenes, this same entire process will happen if you're in a car crash and there is no cellular signal. Uh, so there are basically four emergency SOS types on your phone that you can trigger. Uh, the first one is if you hold the top two buttons down, uh, that'll eventually trigger emergency SOS. The second is a car crash. The third is fall detection if you have something like an Apple Watch, for example. Uh, and the fourth is the 911 call there. All of those will automatically route via satellite as opposed to cellular if there's no cellular available. Now remember earlier on we're asked whether or not we want to notify emergency contacts? Well, as soon as my first message was sent, they are receiving a copy, a mirrored copy of the entire conversation with emergency responders. Uh, so you can see that on the secondary phone here that does have cellular service, and you can see them receiving a copy of this entire conversation. They can't like join in and start texting or whatnot. Uh, this is purely between you and emergency responders, and they're just seeing a streamed copy of it, including your exact location on a map. And now, so behind the scenes this entire time, the Apple Relay Center is coordinating with the correct emergency response people for your area, uh, and they are then sending out people to go ahead and hopefully rescue or solve that particular situation. However, the cool part is that there's one feature here that is not necessarily tied to emergency, and that's Apple Find My. Uh, if you're familiar with Find My, basically it allows you to go ahead and update your location so that your friends and family can see it, and that is true via satellite. The only difference is normally Find My is totally automated. Here it is actually a manual update. So you'll open up the Find My app, and you'll see the option in the middle screen to go ahead and send my location via satellite. Once you tap that button, you do the same swirling around until you find satellites and off it sends. Uh, in this particular case, it took like two to three minutes because the satellite coverage wasn't that good for that particular time frame, uh, but it did send just fine. Again, this is a manual process though. You can't just leave your phone in your back pocket and have it go ahead and update via satellite. But this is super useful if you are hiking somewhere or just simply want to update folks that, hey, here's my current location. You can do that in a non-emergency context. Lastly, in addition to all this, Apple's added a demo mode. Uh, so if you go down into the settings and then into the emergency SOS option, at the very bottom, you'll see a new demo mode. And you can try the vast majority of this, uh, basically to go ahead and confirm with you that you know it's a demo mode, and then it'll shut off all of the cellular on your phone as well as Wi-Fi. Uh, and then I'll walk you through a quick explainer. And then from there, it'll actually send real messages from your phone via satellite. The only thing that's not real is that on the relay center side, that's not a human answering. It's just an automated bot, but it is confirming that that entire link is happening via satellite. And you can see the coverage area for your particular location, which gets to kind of the final area. Uh, Apple has been very, very cautious in all the documentation and all their stuff about this, that it is impacted by things. Like I'm standing underneath a giant tree right now, and of course that is going to impact things. Antenna here is not as strong as some of the dedicated satellite communicators, something like a Garmin inReach device or a spot device. Uh, so there will be situations where the satellite signal just is not strong enough to go ahead and send that message. That might be particularly true in really dense forests. Um, if you've fallen down a ravine, if you're up against a cliffside, uh, eventually you hope that a satellite comes by a different area that will pass, but just kind of keep that in mind. Still, this is mind-bogglingly cool. If you fast forward a few years, it means that more or less anyone with an iPhone will be able to send out emergency SOS messages to get themselves out of a pickle where there may not be cellular coverage. Now, right now, the main limiter here is not so much actually the satellite constellation in terms of coverage of the constellation, but rather more the logistical process of how Apple sends
messages to the right points of contacts uh, in the particular countries that it's enabled for. Thus, the reason why countries are being lit up one at a time is for Apple to ensure that once that message is sent from the relay center to the 911 or equivalency location in your country, it actually goes somewhere. There are over 3,000 of those public safety answering points in the US and Canada alone, uh, and you can imagine how many there are in the rest of the world. Anyways, hopefully you found this interesting or useful. If so, go ahead and whack that like button at the bottom there, or hit subscribe for plenty more sports technology goodness. Have a good one. Oh, actually, one more thing. Now that you've finished watching the video, really, for real, go ahead and update emergency contact information. You will thank me later on.